I have to show you this. I built this super smooth image carousel and I didn't write a single line of JS for it. Everything you see here, the scrolling, the snap, even these next and back buttons is all done with pure CSS. You are gonna learn about a secret CSS trick called scroll button that makes those buttons almost build themselves. It's awesome. First, let's look at the HTML. It's honestly the easiest part, we just need a simple structure. See, nothing crazy. The curved panel is like the mainframe, it holds everything and gives us that nice dark rounded background. Inside it, the curved track is the scrollable part. This is where all our cards will live in a row and each card is just a figure with an image and a little caption. That's it for the structure. Let's start with the basics. We will set up our colors and that cool curved effect at the top. We are using CSS variables in root to store our colors and sizes. This makes the code clean and easy to change later. The key line in curved panel is anchor name hyphen hyphen curved. Remember this. This is how we will tell our scroll buttons to position themselves relative to this panel. The anchor name property essentially creates a reference point that other elements can use. Now for the curved effect, it's not an actual mask but a clever illusion using a pseudo element. Now let's make a row of cards scroll horizontally. This is where it starts to feel like a carousel. Let me break that down. Overflow X Auto is a superstar. It's what tells the browser, hey, if the stuff inside is too wide, just let me scroll it. Scroll snap type and scroll snap align are the dynamic two. They work together to make the scrolling lock on to each card, giving it that professional carousel feel. And we hide the default scroll bar. The card itself has flex 0, 0, 260 pixels, meaning it won't grow or shrink. It has a fixed width. We also add a cool hover effect on the image with transform scale 1.04 for a bit of interactivity. We already have a working scrollable carousel but we are missing the buttons. Let's fix that. This is the cool part. Normally you would have to build buttons in HTML and then write JS to make them scroll. Not anymore. The browser actually gives us these buttons for free on scrollable areas. They are just hidden by default. With the scroll button we can style them and make them visible. Let's start by styling both the left and right buttons. A few key things here, scroll button. The asterisk is a wild card. It means style all the scroll buttons. Position anchor hyphen hyphen curved. Remember that line from the panel? This is why it was there. It tells the button, hey, position yourself relative to that curved panel element. It's like drawing a line between them. Now let's put the buttons in their correct spots and give them arrows. And that's literally it. We target the left and right buttons specifically. We use the content property to insert the Unicode characters for the arrows. You could even use an SVG here. Position area left center. It tells the browser, place the center of this button on the left edge of its anchor element, the panel. For the right button, it's the same, but on the right edge. 
Finally, we use translate 58% 0 to nudge the buttons inward. So they sit perfectly on the inner edges of the panel. And that's it. The browser handles the rest. It automatically shows and hides these buttons based on whether there is more content to scroll to. It's native, accessible and incredibly efficient. No modern component is complete without being responsive. Let's add some quick media queries to make sure our carousel looks great on all devices. All we are doing is making the cards smaller and adjusting the padding as the screen gets smaller. The scroll buttons and everything else just automatically adjust. It just works. So there you have it. A complete carousel from start to finish with Node.js. We used Overflow X Auto and Scroll Snap to make the scrollable area. We used Scroll Button with Position Anchor to create and place our buttons. The browser handled all the complicated logic for us. The full code is available in the description below so you can copy it and try it yourself. If you found this video helpful and learn something new the best way to support the channel is to hit that like button and subscribe it really helps me out thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one